My dad always tells me about Peter remembers the f holding me for the first time in my little hand, grasping his finger, and he was just like so smitten. So I imagine it's going to be the same for us. So um, at 39 weeks, they decided that it was time to have the baby. So um, they just had us come in at 8 a.m. and they were ready to induce me. And uh, we were planning to just do a traditional vaginal birth. And just once they um, gave me the, you know, the medicine to kind of help speed things along, Carter just wasn't reacting well to it. And I had to lay on, you know, my right side of my body, and I couldn't move, or else his little heart rate was kind of um, you know having some inconsistencies and dropping so it was pretty nerve-wracking you know for that eight hours or so of watching his heart rate and trying to get it stabilized and um, yeah after the better part of the day they decided just to go ahead and do a c-section so uh, we did that and little Carter uh, was born at 9 13 p.m. Uh, weighing six pounds, nine ounces, and 19 inches long. No diabetes emergencies, my blood sugars. I kept my pump on during the process and throughout the surgery and just let them know I'm wearing an insulin pump, you know, I'm keeping an eye on my blood sugars. And they were very uh, open and welcoming to that and happy to have a patient that was, you know, kind of her own advocate and, you know, wanting to be involved. So it all was, you know, as positive experience as it could be. Well, I would say nothing really prepares you for the first couple weeks. Everyone says, make sure you take lots of naps before you, you know, before you give birth or sleep when the baby sleeps. But when the baby's sleeping, that's when you're cleaning bottles or showering or eating or testing your blood sugar. Uh, <laughs> so it's quite an adjustment um, the first couple weeks, but it's, uh, it's pretty incredible. Everyone talks about this, this love that you have for your child and you really just don't understand it until you experience it for yourself. So it's been really incredible. So after delivery, um, you know, I did have a couple people warn me, you know, it is challenging to keep your blood sugars, you know, in as tight of control once, you, once you've got someone else to look after. And that's certainly the truth. Um, I wish I could say that my A1C is probably as spot on as it was during the pregnancy, but in all reality, there's some ups and downs. You know, your body's getting more adjusted. Um, you have to change your, your post-delivery insulin rates and, and whatnot. Um, when every time I breastfeed, my blood sugar tends to drop. So um, I always keep you know a snack right nearby so that I can eat a granola bar, granola bar while I'm feeding them. Um, and you know, so it, 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 to be honest, the blood sugars they've been a little up and down. But the same kind of scenario as when I was pregnant. Just always have snacks nearby because you don't want to have a low blood sugar and be taking care of a baby. So my advice for anyone who's thinking about um, getting pregnant or if they want to have a baby, um, first of all, you know, believe in yourself, have confidence that, that you can do it. More importantly too, have a good doctor, have a good relationship with someone. If you're not happy with your doctor and and you're not feeling like you can get your diabetes in good control, call around, ask for support. Um, talk to different organizations within your community or within your area and, and find someone that is eager and wants to take care of you during your diabetes because it will be really important to have a good support system both at home and um, with your doctor. And For me that relationship was um, instrumental in having a good pregnancy, having a positive pregnancy and um, getting really great results um, with this little guy. Remember that Women do this every day, and you can do it too. It's, it's all worth it. It's uh, any doubts and concerns that you have, you know, once you have your, your little bundle of joy at home with you, um, you know, all those fears and, and stuff and all the ups and downs that you experience leading into your pregnancy and throughout it, it's totally worth it. And, um, you know, I would do it all over again in a heartbeat. Mm -hmm.